Hey there everybody, my name is Ryan Welch. I'm with Triple J, John Jefferson Jr. We have another unboxing for Intercode Reviews, and it's still January. We're celebrating Star Wars. Star Wars January. All the pew-pew. All the pew, -pew. Ooh. Star January pew-pew? Okay. Is that what we're calling this? Hey, there you go. <laughs> Work in progress. Maybe by like the last video of January we'll have an actual proper Don't judge name us. for this. It's fine. We're you know, we we want to celebrate all the great action figures that came out here in the past few months from Hasbro. And this one is an Amazon exclusive that we're gonna unbox for you today, and it's super cool. It is Oh, that good, 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 um, good sound effects. We <laughs> we have the speeder bike scout trooper. And the child, aka Grogu, aka Baby Yoda, aka that boy. Yeah, he's yeah. a good dude. He's a good dude. He's legit. I, he, this one is super cool, and I kind of wish I got it, and that's okay. We will one day. He's gonna get one. It's okay. I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna be very jealous of this one. Uh, as you may recall, this was in the season finale of season one of Mandalorian, and. Um, actually a couple pretty funny actors, um, Jason Sudik, uh, oh. Sudikus. yes, and there was another comedian, oh, why is his name blanking on me? Anyway, lots of fun little cameos that you get to learn about during behind the scenes, you know, footage. Nice ties everybody. Uh, right, right, you know, a lot, of, I think a lot of stars really wanted to be a part of this show. But, lots of cool stuff about this one, including the paint, um, obviously having a little baby Grogu in a bag, it's kind of fun. So, let's open it up and, and see what it's all about. The speeder bike, scout trooper, and child. Amazon exclusive, but beautiful nonetheless. Oh, so good. Now I'm assuming, John, this is a re-release of like older troopers. Oh, it's a re-release of the trooper. Okay. It's just it's got the like sand paint job on there, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some art design right there. Um, kind of cool. Almost kind of tells the story of how it works. There's the back. Legalese, again, please don't let any kids have this. Don't, don't num, num choke. No they, num num. No num num. A little backstory on the Scout Trooper. That's you right. can read that at your own leisure. Yes. Pretty standard. Yeah. But you can see the back of it. Oh. So, and then I, I do like the bottom as you're opening that up. Um, the bottom does show exactly how to put the stand on the speeder bike, which is kind of important, I guess. You guess. Right. Like, I don't think I can open it from the bottom. I don't think you can either. It's got to be the side. That's okay. Uh, Did you get the top two? No. Oh my goodness. Uh, Rookie. You know what? This partnership is over. I'm out. <laughs> wow. I'm taking my Star Wars and going home. Okay. I mean, technically we are here at your home. But they don't have to know that. They don't have to know. Oh. Uh, one cool thing about this box, if it'll cooperate. is this can serve as a nice backdrop for you. Cool. So it's not just packaging in there. That is awesome. Um, you don't need to leave these stuff right here at the bottom or the instructions. Sure you do. Maybe we'll put this right here, kind of as you open it, and we can try it out and see. Oh. So inside, I don't know if you saw, um, as John's cutting away at it, um, it, it, it's pretty tightly secured in the plastic packaging. So just be ready. You can't just take it out like you normally would. You just gotta, you gotta cut everything. Yes. It's weird that his head was positioned that way, but I get it for packaging. But you know, normally you're gonna be this way. That's right. And I do like that he comes with a pouch. And I saw this in somebody else's channel where they took this off and put it on the Mandalorian like he's carrying it. Because I think, oh yeah, if it'll cooperate. There's little peg holes? Yeah. Got it. So he can hide the child in there, but you can still see him. That's right. So one of the things that I noticed on this, and then, there you go. There's a little backdrop. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. So one of the things that I noticed, I was talking to Rai, this is the same base that they use for the Cosmic Ghost Rider mm -hmm. to hold this bike up. But just kind of quickly looking this over, oh. So they did put little like rubber bands on the hands here to kind of hold it in place. Uh, Secure, you know, so it doesn't fall off. I true. forgot to take that off. Are you going to take it off? Um, if I can get to them. Okay. Yeah. on the legs. Please hold. Well, and you know, I get it. You gotta make it look 
as we know with with figures sometimes they don't pose exactly like we want so in the case of this figure where you want everything to be looking prim and proper in front of that window you know you're, you gotta strap down as much as you can yes it'll be kind of interesting once you put it back on the camera if um <laughs> just kind of if anything was warped you know as it was strapped on man i think that'll be kind of interesting they got that in there good there we go you did man, it oh, you see that almost. look at that they don't make this easy for people <laughs> what the heck i guess the question was were you going to put it back in the box or were you going to keep it out? Shh. That, that's a later discussion <laughs> the things we do for this channel Oh, okay, it was like double wrapped around. Okay, so they didn't wrap the other foot, so that's Thank nice. Thank goodness. Okay, so. I'll just say, yeah, let's pop them off. off. There we go. So, get a nice little look at the bike here. Ooh. I, I like that there is some detail in the base, too. I don't know, was that, is that the detail also there for the Cosmic Ghost Rider? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, it's kind of like a smoke cloud effect. Right. So, it'd be nice, like, if you took a photo, like, this would kind of be photoshopped out so it looked like it's flying. But you've got, like, the smoke damage here, because you know they've been flying around and getting all worn out. Oh, I love the attention to detail in this. It's awesome. Yeah. Even there, like, you got the little control panels there. And here we have kind of the flaps, I think, come up. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you, if you look at the rear, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the, the little after things yeah. pop up. Let's take a look at the trooper here. Get him off while wow, he was really bow-legged there. Yeah, and he's going to be super stiff once you get him out of the packaging because... I, you know, mm. it's been in that one pose for quite some time. Yeah. Oh, you even have some of the wrapping still on the wrist. Did wow. See that? Man, good oh. luck with that, guys, oh. when you open yours. Yeah, if you, it, it's, it's going to be one of those figures that if you want to keep it in the box, you probably want to keep it. Yes, <laughs> you don't wanna, keep like, it in the box. You know, take it out and then put it back in, which is what we're going to try to do, right. and that's fine. And nice thing we said, like... The bag does open up and stuff. You can't take Grogu out, but the idea is just to show that he's hidden in there. Again, this is a reuse of a trooper that they've done before, but they just added the varnish there. So you've got normal traditional articulation there. How does it bend at the um, at the shoulders? Okay. That's good. <laughs> it's always, you know, the tricky with the stormtroopers is the shoulder blade right here sometimes. Like, you know. Oh, but it looks, oh, nice. So the shoulder blade um, or the shoulder pad kind of goes over like the top armor piece right here. So yeah. it gets a little more, um, a little more movement out of your, out of your feet. Man, you can definitely see, like, looking at the legs here, you see how this one's kind of bowed out from just being in that position on the oh, speeder bike for so long? Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. But you could probably take, like, a heat gun or a blow dryer and just kind of loosen that up and kind of reposition it. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it on there too long because it could melt and warp the plastic, but yeah. just a little bit. Ooh, have you done that before? Um, what? Uh, use, like, a heat gun or, or like, a hair dryer or something like that? Oh, to... I thought you were going to say you ruined a figure. Oh, I mean, yeah, Wait, I'm sure that answer is yes. Way right? to call me out, bro. <laughs> um, shout out to the uh, Dino Thunder Red Ranger. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> <sighs> wow. And, and Master Chief. <laughs> wow, just call out all my flaws. So uh, <laughs> it does come with a little tiny gun here, which it does have a holster right there that it goes in. And are you going to correct me and tell me what this is? So I did a little research, and I, in the episode, and it, was, it felt like a brief moment. It was like a target practice thing, mm. and so they were shooting at it. But it was pew, 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 pew. right, right. So, but it wasn't. I, I don't know. It's it's a nice little detail, but I don't necessarily <sighs> think it was you know it was needed right. for this figure. But that's okay. You know, again, they they this there's areas where. Um, oh, look at that. It, and the gun did pop out of the holster, so be careful. Um, that gun will easily fall out. Um, anyway, it's just, it's just kind of a little detail that you don't expect, but when you see it, you're like, oh, okay, that's nice. 
nice. See, look. Look at that nice backdrop there. That's awesome. Does it ro does the, the speeder bike move on the stand itself? Okay, so you can do a little posing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, you're probably not going to do a ton, but still, that's nice. But you got options. That's true. Well, we need options with figures. Overall, it's cool. This is a really cool figure. I like the paint detail on it. I like the texture detail on it. And having a little Grogu in a bag is pretty awesome. Right. Um, I guess I do worry that, you know, it, it looked real stiff when you busted it out and bow-legged like you, you showed. So. Well, some figures are kind of that way when you first open them up. They just... You gotta loosen them up. Yeah, that's true. All that pre-packaging, you know. I know. I know, man. What do you think? Final thoughts? Um, I want more. Oh. Like a second one? Maybe. Um, can I have it? Um, guys, we're gonna have a, a brief intermission and talk about <laughs> our partnership and things. <laughs> and all things Star Wars. If you would like John to buy me a, um, a speeder bike trooper, um, go ahead and leave a comment and um, hit that like button and that subscribe button just mm -hmm. so he knows that he can buy this for Yeah, me. I mean, you can even message us on Twitter and, and, you know, just share your thoughts with us on there, too. That's right. That's right. Um, do or do not. There is no buy. That's right. And remember, it's an Amazon exclusive, <laughs> so if you want it, you better get on there now before it sells out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. See you guys.